Hello all. Welcome to part 55 of Test NG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate what will happen when we specify parallel is equal to classes or parallel is equal to methods at so tag level instead of test tag level. So let's get started. In Test NG XML file. When you specify parallel is equal to classes or parallel is equal to methods at suit tag level instead of the test tag level, then what will happen? This question may be asked in the interviews. Okay, it is an interview question, and whatever I'm going to explain, that is going to be the answer for the interview question. Okay, so here clearly I'm saying that parallel is equal to classes or parallel is equal to methods can be specified at the test tag level. But what if you specify that at the suit tag level? Then what is going to happen? I'm going to explain in this session. Okay, here if you can see, guys, I'll remove these previous things. Here we have the suit in testng.xml file. We have the suit under the suit. We have two tests. Okay, now if I po provide parallel is equal to classes, parallel is equal to classes, and I'll say thread dot count is equal to some two. Okay, if I say two, what will happen? How the execution will happen in this case? Here, parallel is equal to classes will be applied for all the test tags because all these test tags are inside the suit tag. Hence, this parallel is equal to classes. You see, instead of specifying parallel is equal to classes here and parallel is equal to classes here, okay. Instead of doing that, I'm just removing this. Okay, instead of doing that by specifying parallel is equal to classes at the each and every test tag level, you are only specifying once at the suit tag level so that it will be applied for all the test tags. And also here, thread count is equal to this. Also, will be applied for all the test tags. So, what will happen when you run this session? Your .xml file is first. It will here there are two tests. First, this particular test will be executed, and then second test will be executed. When this particular test will be executed, the classes inside this particular test will be executed in a parallel way. You see, there are two threads. So, register will occupy one thread. Okay, login class test methods will occupy another test. Uh, another thread. Okay, register related test will run on one thread, and login related test will run on another thread. Okay, so for that, through two threads will be created. When the test starts, two threads will be created. Some with some number two threads will be created. By the end of the test, after the parallel execution of the first test is done uh, at this class level, or the classes of this test are executed in parallel. Okay, first test is completed. These two threads will be deleted. Now the next test will. Will start test two will start where again there are two classes. Again there are two classes. These classes are going to run in parallel, okay? Because parallel is equal to classes is mentioned at the suit tag level. These classes are going to run in parallel. That means search class will occupy one thread, search two will occupy another thread. Two threads. Two new threads will be created, guys. Okay? So those two threads which are created for second test will be different from those two threads which are created for the first test. Okay? Like that. The test will be executed in sequential order, but the classes inside the test will be executed in parallel. And also, the threads created for the first test will be deleted by the end of the test, and a new, uh, new two threads will be created for running the test inside this uh, classes inside this second test. Okay, this is what will happen, guys. Okay, run this, you will understand. First, register and login will run on two threads. You see, login, register, login, register, login, register, login, register, login. On which threads? Only two threads. Twenty-three and twenty-four are the threads. Okay. On which the login and register got executed. That is, first test is completed, and this twenty-three and twenty-four will be deleted, guys. Okay. By the end of this test, the twenty-three and twenty-four will be deleted, and for the second test, two more threads will be created. Twenty-six and twenty-five and twenty-six got created. Twenty-five and twenty-six. Two new threads got created, on which the search two and search okay classes are running parallel. Okay. This is what happens when you specify parallel is equal to classes at the suit tag level. What if I specify parallel is equal to methods at the suit tag level? What will happen? Again, the same thing, guys. First, here two threads. Okay, two threads will be created for the first test tag. Okay, first test tag will be executed first. There are two classes here. Inside these two classes, in the register class, there are four tests. The login class, there are five test methods. Okay, in register there are four test methods and login. Five test methods. Total nine test methods will be running on two threads. Okay, these nine test methods, which belong to these two classes, will run parallelly 
Okay, here methods are parallel, right? So this nine methods will run parallelly on two threads. If one thread is occupied, okay, it will search for another thread. Okay, two threads will be there. If slots are becoming empty, and the test methods from this register and login will uh, occupy the slots of two threads. Okay, two at a time will run. After this complete test got uh, executed, those two threads which got created for the test one, okay, test one will be deleted, guys. Okay, deleted, and second test will start where. Two more threads will be created, and the test methods from the search and search to. Okay, there are three test methods in search and three test methods in search to. Total six. Six will try to run on this two two threads. Okay, depending on the vacancy and the completion of the test. Okay, the test methods of these two classes will occupy these two threads, and it will finish up. Okay, the test will run in sequential order, but methods of these particular classes will run in parallel on these two threads. That two test after the test. And the threads which are got created for test one will be deleted by the end of the test. And uh, for test two, two two new threads will be created. And by the end of this test, they also will be deleted. Okay, run this. You'll see that test methods from register and login will run first parallelly. Login register test methods on twenty three and only two threads. You see twenty three and twenty four are two threads on which okay the login and register related uh, test methods got executed parallelly on these two threads. After that. These two threads, 23 and 24, will be deleted, and two new threads, new test will start here. After the first test, new test containing search and search two class will be running, and uh, for that, 25 and 26 threads will be created. 25 and 26 threads got created. Okay, and here also the threads, uh, these test methods of these two classes will be running parallelly on uh, available threads, two available threads here. Okay, so hope guys you understood uh, what will happen when you specify parallel is equal to classes or parallel is equal to methods. Okay. Uh, specified at the suit tag level in test ng XML file. Okay, so that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another test ng topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.